everyone. Welcome to Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. My name is Zoe, and on South Key today I have... Hello everyone, my name is Pearl, and I'm so excited to be with you all today as we read Rhapsody Realities for early readers, and will truly be blessed. On this program, Pearl and I will be reading from today's Rhapsody Realities for early readers. You know, there's so much to learn from God's Word, and I'm so excited and expected. You do not want to miss this. Yes, Zoe. Guess what? We are getting ready for the global campaign, Reach Out World Day. Yes, it's Reach Out World Day. Glory to God. On Reach Out World Day, we will be distributing the Rhapsody of Realities for kids and for early readers to every boy, every girl in schools, orphanages, cities, hospitals, and everywhere the children are. That's so awesome. Yes, Zoe. One of the ways to participate in Reach Out World Day is through your partnership. So sponsor a hundred to a thousand copies of Rhapsody of Realities. You can have your mom and dad join you to do it. By sponsoring Rhapsody of Realities, you make it possible for children to receive God's Word. Wow, that's so amazing. So mark your calendar because this amazing event is on December 2nd, 2024. Be a part of Reach Out World Day. Can the whole world be filled with the glory of God in one day? Can the earth be covered with the knowledge of God in one day? Can everyone hear the word in every known language and dialect in one day? Can the gospel be preached in all the world, in every home, town, city, nation, and continent? in just one day. Yes, a lot can happen in one day. We can cover the whole world with God's Word in one day. Get ready for that day, December 2nd, 2024, Reach Out World Day. That day, all of us all over the world will be distributing rhapsody of realities everywhere in the world. In whatever language they want it, they're going to get it. We will take Rhapsody to the busy crossroads of life, to the highways and the hedges, to the offices and the shops. We'll take them to the barber's salon, everywhere. In the buses, the cabs, taxi cabs, the trains, the airplanes. We will distribute Rhapsody of Realities everywhere in the world. Everybody's going to get Rhapsody of Realities. You're with me on this? Tell me, are you with me on this? We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Be a part of the Reach Out World Day. Looking forward to this glorious event, Reach Out World Day. It will really be a day to remember. I cannot wait for the impact that will make all throughout the world. Yes, Zoe. Rhapsody Realities for Early Readers has continued to be a blessing to children around the world. This is why it's important to read it, study it, and share it with your friends. Indeed, we must share it with everyone all across the world, Pro, because this is a book like no other. This book right here that I'm holding is a miraculous book that can cause lives to be transformed completely. So share it with everyone in your sphere of contact. Let's take today's message. Today is Tuesday, September 24th, and the title is Remain Faithful. Wow. Let's take our opening scripture. Our opening scripture is taken from John 15, verse 1 to 2, and it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. 
Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let's read what Pastor has to tell us today. The branch of a tree is the part of the tree that produces fruit. For the branch to always be fruitful, it must remain connected to the tree. As a child of God, you're the branch while Jesus is the vine. So, if you want to keep producing fruits of righteousness, love, peace, and success, you must remain connected to Him. Make it a habit to fellowship with the Lord Jesus daily through the study of the Word. This is how you remain connected to Him and keep producing fruits. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now let's take our confession. Our words are powerful and we must declare the right things. Kindly repeat after me. Say this. I remain connected. I remain connected to the vine. To the vine. Therefore, therefore, I produce much fruit. I produce much fruit. And my fruits abide. And my fruits abide. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our further study scripture is taken from John 15, verse 4 to 7. Wow, glory to God. This was such a powerful and impactful message. Remain fruitful. Wow, I can't wait to see what you have to say about this, bro. So stay tuned if you want to hear that. Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Daily's your favorite devotional program. Today's title is Remain Fruitful. Wow, this was such an impactful message for me. Was it for you too, Pearl? Can you share with us what you learned? Thank you, Zoe, for asking. What I learned from today's Rhapsody was that we have to remain fruitful. This means that we have to make sure that we produce the right fruits. Just like the example of today, Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. And for in order for us to produce the right fruits, we have to stay connected to Him. If we don't stay connected to Him, we are not able to produce fruits. How do we stay connected, you may, you may ask. How? It's by staying connected to His Word, God's Word. 
when you stay connected to the word of God you're obviously going to produce the right fruits it's just like if you stay connected to the bad things of the world you're gonna produce those bad fruits of the world but we are Christians so we must produce the right type of fruits which is which is by studying the Word of God you can produce fruits of success love peace kindness and so many other things so this is important for you to know stay connected to God's Word the most the way to become successful in this life is with God's Word yes. that's the most successful way of life and it will always make you victorious in any situation circumstance or challenges of life this is why it's important that you stay connected to God's word because God wants you to be successful. Jesus wants you to be success. Jesus wants you to be successful. So it's important that you stay connected to His yeah. word. And like Pastor Chris told us today, you have to study God's word every day. And like we read the Rhapsody of Realities each day, we read the title each day, and you can join us each day so that we can read it together and share what we learn. And every time we do this, we always grow in God's word. Like now that you're with us listening to the word that um, what we learn, sharing what we learn, you're learning more and you're growing in the word of God and you'll never yes. be the same as your peers. So as you do this and that you're studying the word of God, don't think that, oh, I'm lower, I'm going to get lower. It's not going to help me. No, it's going to help you. Yeah. This is how you create, um, yeah, this is how you create yourself as a success for your future and even now. So continue studying on God's word and you'll see the results in no time. So Zoe, that's what I learned. What did you learn? Thank you, Prof, for asking. What I learned is that, wow, Remain Fruitful, it's such an amazing title, Remain Fruitful. You know, what really stood out to me the most was the opening scripture. It says that Jesus is the vine, we are the branches, and God is the gardener. He cares for the vine. And one thing that stood out is that the branches that are fruitful and that produce fruits he prunes them and pruning basically means he cares for them he waters them so that they can be more um, fruitful and they can produce more fruit so that's so amazing so really this is just a reference that jesus is the vine we are the branches it's just the same thing that he's the head we are the body it's just so amazing that you can see that as christians you must be fruitful so you're wondering how am i supposed to be fruitful it's by acting on the word of God by bringing more souls to Jesus Christ, by winning souls, because that's our one mandate on this earth. When Jesus left, he said, go ye into the world, preach the gospel to every creature. He said, go into Judea, Samaria, and onto the ends of the earth. That's what he said. So that's our goal and our mission on this earth, on this planet. So it means to be, produ to be fruitful and to produce, he must bring more souls, bring more souls to the church, bring many people, be be fruitful and you know another thing is that when you're fruitful and you produce meaning you bring souls to church you're an active member in church when you do those things he'll care for you he'll prune you meaning he'll bring opportunities for you to prosper and grow oh, and be yeah. more fruitful and produce more fruits that's just an amazing thing you see it's getting better and better so it means as you produce fruits god says wow pearl is really fruitful you know what I'm going to bring her opportunities. I'm going to prune her so she can be even more so she can be even more fruitful and she can bring more for a harvest. You know, this is the harvest of souls and we're doing so winning like never before so the Lord is coming soon. So it's important. You might be wondering, oh, why are some Christians less fruitful than others? Why are some Christians um, win more souls than others? It's because you have to be an active member of church. You know, that's why it says, the Rhapsody tells us, Pastor tells us that to produce fruit, to be fruitful, you have to be connected to the vine. So it means that if you don't join church services, if you're not an active member of church, say you're not participating in our programs or services, healing streams and programs like that. If you don't come to church, how do you expect to be fruitful when you're not listening, you're not hearing the word of God frequently, when you're not praying frequently? So you have to be connected to the vine. It's not only by those things, you have to be connected to your vine. So make sure that you come to church every week, every Sunday, so that you can produce more fruits and be fruitful and God will bring opportunities for you to prosper. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. 
Wow, I know we've learned so much, Pro. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. You will be inspired, you will be motivated, you will be a blade for the Lord. Get to see kids on a mission to other kids with rapidly of realities. Get inspired by other kids and be on a mission for the Lord with rapidly of realities. I'm Jason Leon, a kid on a mission. Kids on a mission. Join on Brock TV and Rapidly TV. Rock TV, reaching every child with God's word. Welcome back, friends. I'm sure you've learned so much from today's Rhapsody of Realities for Early Readers. I know I have. What about you, Pearl? Thank you, Zoe, for asking. Well, I've been blessed by today's message, and we want to thank our dear man of God, Pastor Chris, for making this book available to children all over the world. Thank you, Pastor Sir. Indeed, we thank you, Pastor Sir. Pearl, did you know that the Rhapsody of Realities is available in all living languages? It's also available in print, digital, audio, and braille formats for those with impaired vision. It's just so amazing that the Rhapsody can be available to everyone. We cannot thank Pastor Chris enough for having a special place for children and ensuring that we receive the Rhapsody of Realities for early readers every single month. Yes, Zoe, remember, the Lord is coming soon. There's much to be done before his return. So get copies of Rhapsody Realities for early readers, for yourself and for your friends. Yes, it's important that we get it for everyone. Did you know that you can gift so that kids all over the world can get free copies of the Rhapsody of Realities for early readers? Yes. So log on to www.csdkids.org to give. Wow, Zoe, guess what? We have an exciting program on Rock TV. Glory! Log on to www.rocktv.tv to watch these amazing programs. Tell your friends in your neighborhood, at home, and in your school about the super amazing programs on Rock TV. Well, that's all we have for you today, but I'm sure you've learned something. I'm sure you've learned how to remain fruitful and to stay connected to the vine, which is Jesus Christ. Until tomorrow, that's all we have for you today. With that said, we love you. Bye.